I did a switch to uh, Ethernet because I forgot Wi-Fi on my laptop is not great. Hey, Kogamma, what's up? I'm going to be installing DOS today. So, look at how big this USB is. Hang on. How uh, much? Um, I'm installing DOS. That's what I'm doing. On this EPC. Look how small it is. It's tiny. Tiny. There. I might be clipping a bit. I'm testing this new setup for streaming. Oh. Why'd you turn off, buddy? Hey, Kaz, what's up? Right. Let's boot from removable device. Oh no, that's right. The escape key doesn't work on this machine. All right, so I have to boot from. I have to boot from um, the hard drive. This BIOS recognizes hard drives as USBs. Ah, uh, USBs as hard drives. Here we go, and then we have to push it up using plus and minus, and then save and exit. All right, so is this going to work? It's just going to boot FreeDOS. Uh, doesn't look like it. That's okay. I have a second USB. Let's boot from that instead. Trash. No, don't say that. How dare you insult this. We got some dots. Oh shit. It's trying to initialize the CD ROM. Listen, buddy. This doesn't have a CD ROM. Alright. Now we're gonna install it to another flash drive. So I'm just gonna quickly format this one. Just ignore those noises. I just have to quickly format it. Drive. Not device manager. No. Hang on. Drive. Manager. Create and format disk partitions. That's, yep. This is a, is this a Windows stream today? Disk one, petition two. All right, so we're gonna delete that volume. Noises, what noises? Yeah. So this setup today is just re uh, streaming with my laptop because if that works, then I could probably set it up to work in my, uh, in another room where I do soldering to do actual fun stuff. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Um, so we're going to have to turn that off. And since we're going to have two drives inserted, we're going to have to deal with boot device priority. No, we're not soldering anything. Okay. So this has got, this one's the new volume D. There we go. Again, it's fine. Standard Linux noises. So is this going to boot from the proper hard drive. Close some windows. Okay, so it's booting from the wrong one. Do any of you remember actually like having multiple hard drives in a computer? 
I'm not stretching. I'm hunched over this. I'm angry, if anything. Okay, we want the sand disc cruiser to be at the top. I think. No, I think it's the store and... Plus... What just happened? Negative... Okay. I think that's right. Let's hope this is right. I wrap all my cables and rubber bands in case anyone's asking. It's a good trick. You just buy like a pack of rubber bands and then just wrap your cables up. Works really good. Like, uh, look at this. Look at all these. You can just look at the ends of them and it's like, uh, well, I know which one to grab. It's perfect. I'm a genius, but I just forgot to set the, uh, the thing, so I'm not that much of a genius. Okay, so the sand disc cruiser got to go to the top. Mm -hmm. What's PMST 9500? Does this actually have a hard drive in it? Hmm. I wouldn't think so. I'm pretty sure I would have stripped any hard drive out of this. Hang on. Let's just double check this. Uh oh. Spaghetti-o. Should I get a proper tripod mount? Yeah. Am I going to? No. So let's open this up and check to see if there's a hard drive in there. Are we going to install to a hard drive or to a flash drive? Also, like, there's a Windows serial on this, but it's, like, all yellowed and grayed out that I don't actually know what product it's for. I think it's for Windows XP Home OEM Edition. I'm not too sure. Oh, if you look at that, there's a actual hard drive in here. What size is that? 500 gigabytes. Um, I mean, I want to kind of snatch that out now, but I feel like I already have enough hard drives I'm not using. I don't need to scavenge. Okay, so we're actually going to install to a hard drive then. I think DOS can deal with like 500 gigabyte hard drives, can't it? It's fine with that. If there's one thing I've learned, is that DOS is fine with everything. That's not a screw. Where did I put the screw? Hey chat, where did I put the screw? Oh, it's over here. My chat has deserted me. Is it possible to do things without a chat? Not really, no. In your mouth? What? Oh, this screw is great. That's definitely going in. You can tell how good a screw is by how hard it is to screw in, because that means it's going to be really hard to screw out. Uh, well, it looks like I've just ruined that screw. Uh, there's a bit of pressure there, I think. Whatever. If that falls out, I'm going to remove it, and I'll just use tape. Yeah, it's making, it's making noises. That's fine. Let's plug in the adapter. So, the reason I wanted to install it to USB is so I could, like, uh, just easily remove it if there's an issue. But I, uh, I guess we're not going to do that, huh? Is that the wrong one? I'm pretty sure it's the blue one that uh, has the, the whatchamacallit on it, the Fridos. 
the FD, the FG. Yeah, this is the verbatim. Let's just try it anyway. That's not focused. That's trash. Um, can I focus that though? I don't want to try focusing this camera live, but I might. Okay, hang on. Is that focused there? That seems to be focused. I'm not sure. Okay, so blue drive not work. Non blue drive, you worky? I'm good. Uh, I don't want to install to the flash drive because that's going to be annoying. Okay. When I get my capture card, I'll be able to get the screen to look okay. I got to go back. Okay, that looks a bit better. Okay, here we dropping, boys. So, oh, it's only detecting C drive. Hang on a second. Let's just go with the install. Have you ever crunched? Oh, we can petition it. Um, have you ever crunched a free DOS drive? No. You know what? I'm not happy with this. Let's use the advanced menu. There's a secret advanced menu. That looks awful. All right, hang on. If I move it back, does that help? No, if I move it forward, does that help? What is happening? Okay, if I move the camera a little bit, does that help? I saw it, I saw it for a brief second, it was focused. Forward a bit. Okay, so we're just gonna do back then. Uh, okay, that might be good enough. I mean, it's not good enough. It's terrible, but you can read it, hopefully. Although, is it less readable than just zooming it in? You know what? We're going to get barely readable text. I'll just move the laptop back a bit. Okay. So what's the, what's the secret menu key? Um... I think we do language first. Why is my internet so slow? Um, okay, well, I can't actually remember how I got to F7. No, but let's try, let's go on that track and try some more F keys. All right, well, evidently it's not here. I swear. I swear it must have been there. Okay, let's petition drive D. See, that's not good. You can't read that at all. Closer, does that help? Okay, look. This is what we're going to do. Can I manually focus it on this? 
Doesn't look like it. Hang on. Exposure. Yeah, that was the issue. Um, doesn't let me mess with the zoom. Let's put sharpness up a bit. Will that help? That saturation just default that. Sharpness. Oh, wait, no, that puts the exposure down. Okay, hang on a second. Sorry, everyone. Turn off low light compensation. Put that there. Uh, turn brightness down a little bit. Put the contrast up. Um, put the sharpness up. Why not? Turn the gain. Uh, okay. Gain should probably be down. You know what? This is going to be what we're doing. That actually looks worse a little bit. Okay, let's just try it one more time. Put the brightness up a bit. There we go. Ah, uh, I can't try it. Ah! Brightness up, exposure down. Alright, good enough. How do you feel about the lesbian agenda, and what do you feel about becoming lesbians with you? What? I'm not a lesbian? Okay, yes, we do want to do this. And we want to create. Oh, that looks so bad. But you know what? This is what we're getting. Go create primary. No space. Okay. Excuse me. I have to press escape to continue. Okay. Run ruined. Perhaps, or I can plug in a keyboard just to hit escape. Let's do that. I happen to have a keyboard laying around. Ah, uh, the little ferret bead on the power supply is blocking the USB port. Ah, uh, okay. Escape. All right, so fixed drive two, we want to change it to, yeah, we're on two. Delete the petition, please. Delete extended, please. Can we create a petition? No space. Why does it think, okay, it says there's a non-DOS petition there. So could it be that there is something there? Delete petition. Delete non-DOS petition. Yep. Uh, one, please. Later. Let me just create this. Create. Yep. Great. Um, set active petition. Yep. Um, let me go back. Now we have to reboot the system. It does actually have the D drive there. How do you feel about bean and rice burritos? I don't know. You know, that's, that's as good as it's going to get. I'm sorry. You can recognize what's happening. Let's erase and format D drive.
Up's done. U.S. English, please. Um, I want to install a plain DOS system, please. Yep, I'm ready. Let's install. So now we're going to do this. How's my day going? Um, it's going good. You can come here often. Probably have some of my coffee now. Um, instant ro uh, international roast. So it's like, um, it's possibly like, I don't know, E tier. Cole's coffee is F tier. That makes me go to the bathroom. If, if your coffee can't stay in my system, it's F tier. Um, but international roast is like instant coffee, E tier. And then like, cause is like, well, you have to drink actual coffee if we ever meet up. And I'm like, no, absolutely not. I put uh, in my coffee, I put coffee and soy. Is this the installer running or the actual? Brings a pack of instant coffee to Cosmeet. I might actually do that if that ever happens. Like since there's COVID now, that's, you know, things are different. I'm a soy boy. Yes, of course. We did it. It's installed. Now this is pretty good. Do we have... Alright, we have FDN package. Um, so now it's time to set up networking. which is really where uh, all the hell is going to happen. So we need to install, try and set a drive here. Um, I need to copy drivers and stuff. Cause sneaks in a little good coffee and shoots immediately projectile lights across the room. Yeah, I think that would happen. Does that look better? No. What about that? No. Put the exposure down. Why soy not oat? I'm just not a fan of oat um, milk. Um, so let's get some stuff for the party. Um,
I'll give him the USB in. All right. So we're going to switch to Firefox for a second. JukesCon is a LAN party. Yeah, probably. Let's open up private browsing on this. Just see if I type something, if it's going to... No, Firefox is basically unused. Okay, so let's switch to... Um, the display capture. And we're going to get um, MTCP. Jukes pornography addiction. Um, no. So we're going to get the MTCP stuff from Brotman. Um, we're going to download it. as standard binaries yep. and then we're also going to get a packet driver um, now I don't actually know what packet driver we need I know that we're going to be using Ethernet from Intel so we're going to just go for the typical Intel um, Ether Express 100 um, there's two options here so let's just go save both of them. Why am I installing DOS? Where do you think the DOS bot's gonna run, buddy? Hey, Misaki. Misaka, Misaka, Misaka. So. All to the new volume. Yeah, we're doing DOS bots. That's the whole point of my channel. How how do you how would you not know? Okay, I want to copy these, please. Windows, let me copy shit. You have pissed me off to no end so far. Oh crap, is this mic on? Um, it's fine. I'm just going to extract all the zips first. Extract here. Um, zip files are possibly a special type of hell because you have to, because if you extract stuff there, it just goes everywhere. So actually I'm going to have to make some directories. Does this have unzip on it? Okay, we'll just do it in DOS. Just do it in DOS. It's fine. Now, free DOS actually does support USB, kind of. It's USB with a bit of a catch. Like if we go here now, it's not gonna support the drive. So we actually have to reboot. Um, is it gonna try and boot from the flash drive? No, okay. So let's boot up. And now let's go to D drive. And look, we have USBs. So let's unzip. How do you unzip shit? Unzip. Um, I want to set it to a directory. Okay. So we're going to unzip MTCP to a directory, which would be C drive MTCP. There we go. That's pretty cool. I did it. Um, and we're going to, I don't know which packet driver to use. So we're just going to unzip, um, the E1000 um, ODI one. Um, and we'll just put that in ODI. Nope, I did it wrong. I did it wrong. I think, did I? No, I didn't. Yeah, let's do that all. See, I can use DOS. And then we'll put the packet driver. 
See, there's the B packet there, which I don't think is the right one. So, let's go to the packet, uh, the um, ODI one, and let's try that. What's your favorite vegan ice cream? Cole's chocolate chip. So we're going to run start.bat. All right, it can't find it. Sick. So this was actually labeled wrong. So let's try this one. Um, licensed by Intel for distribution without complete source. Okay. So let's use uh, packet int number would be 60, slot number, I don't know. How do I LSPCI? How to list hardware. I used HW info. Do I use that? PCI sleep L. No. Nick scan. Should I do that? I'm looking at all the, all the junk on Stap Overflow. Um, do you ever think it'll get out of beta? Maybe. There's hope. Uh, so slot number would probably be the PCI slot. So we might actually just cheat and search up EPC LSPCI. And we'll just see what comes up. Debian EPC 1000HA. And then there's some Gen 2 stuff. So Ethernet controller is an AR8132. What? Are you kidding me? It's an Ethan. It's not the right driver. Unless it's the AR one that we just did. We might have to boot into Linux Mint. Let's try to start. So that says 8254X. That looks like it, it could be it. Let me just quickly check the page that you can't see. 8132. Uh, all right, so what we're going to do. is just double check in the Debian wiki. AR8132. Okay. So it's not the Intel packet driver. Um, let's quickly put the screen back on and have a look here. Atheros. Uh oh. Triple. Um, do we not have Ethernet? Right, well, there's nickscan.exe. So let's just grab that. I think removing the USB and adding it back is kind of like heck. Oh, ignore that. Thanks, Windows. I trusted you. Um, so I'm just going to put that on the flash drive. Don't eyes me. Potentially unwanted app. What? No, I want this app. Win32 Fusion Core. Allow on device, please. Please. I want this. Okay, so we'll copy Nick scan over to new volume. I need it. 
because otherwise we're going to have some a little bit of an issue here. If I'm going to be using this for DOS. No, I don't want to format the disk. Okay, let's put it back in USB. And see what happens if FreeDOS crashes. Oh, did that work? No, it's cached. Okay. So let's quickly unzip this next scan stuff. Show me something. Bus three device zero. A Tanzic Technology Corp. Okay. Is that in the page? Uh oh, triple. Uh, crap. All right. So let me search up on my main computer. Um, ECI 1969 1026. And what driver does that use? Oh, say that's an Athros driver. And it shows up as various types, like AR81 something. So let's just go back here. And hey, maybe... What's this for? 8254X. Okay. Okay. So the next step is to search up for DOS drivers for this. So I'm going to be doing this on my other computer. Uh, what? Icarus L1 DOS. Uh, What model EPC is this? It's a thousand HA, I think. I was looking at a thousand and five H. One thousand HA Ethernet. Am I gonna have to boot into Linux? All right, I found a page on Debian for it. The Ethernet controller is, yeah, um, Atheros AR8121, whatever. So let's search up for Atheros DOS driver. Oh, cat, you're going under my table.
They compiled a novel ODI packet. Shim. So if we have an ODI packet, we might be able to get this to work. Is that what they've been including? Okay. Cat stream? No. Absolutely not. Okay. So we're going to quickly look at this page. I'm sorry you can't see anything, but also I'm not really that sorry. I don't care. So we're just going to do AR8121 um, ODI drop. Oh, we can just go to appdrivers.eu. That's only for Windows. Uh oh. Atheris DOS. This might be futile. In which case, um, we might just have to set up some kind of Linux on it. I'm not too sure. You want to go out, cat? Huh? Yep. Okay, let me show you what I just found. Which looks sketch as heck, by the way. Um, if we go to netbootdisk.com we have the universal tcp ip network boot disk which is a dos based flopping device that had that had uh, networking support um what the heck is this um let's go to it's no longer maintained but in dos that just means it's aged like fine wine um, so this is meant for PXE booting. Um, so let's see, supported cards. If we go down here, it does actually have um, the Atheris card. Where are you? Don't tell me I hallucinated it. Here. Um... A-T-L-I-E DOS and then it has it actually um, selected there. So let's see um, about the disk. Now is this DOS? It could be. Let's download it. The legal terms. Okay, so I'm not allowed to share this. Whatever. Um, let's save this. Shut down the eeps. And I'll quickly copy this. Well, hmm. Give me a second. Okay, so we're back here. Let's just look at the files that are in it. Netboot, auto exec, file copy, logon.bat. And it's got a files.uha, unu hard cd. Hmm. Not ideal. Um, yeah, so it's got an instructions file. Let's read that. So I'm supposed to run make dick, no, <laughs> make dick. The batch file will compress a standard WinXP PC DOS 7 boot disk into the network boot disk. So, uh, let's just try and 
take this apart. Netboot um, files.uha. What is a UHA file? Make dick the trans man dream. Yeah. That's a packed file. All right, so it's a compressed archive file. Um, UHark. Does FreeDOS have UHark? I can down, okay, so this is from Drive Snapshot as well. Hey, Zoxic. I don't know how to pronounce that. Yeah, we're doing DOS, but I want to get networking on this. And so I've fallen into, well, there's this page as well, Drive Snapshot. Does this have the drivers? I might just go back here and if we go back to the list of junk, uh, supported cards, we could probably just search the file name here. Zojic. Why, why not just write a C then? I don't understand. So it's called ATL, ATL1E.DOS. Now, I'm going to copy and paste that. Yeah, search with DuckDuckGo. Don't go to that as a URL. Um, uh, this looks pretty sketch. Why don't I write a C there? I'll write you a C there. This looks kind of legit. Um, uh, NDIS 2 ATL 1E. Ah, oh, that's not going to work, is it? Unless, like, you can run DOS NDIS 2. Or we want to use Windows 90. Me cranks up SAS. What did I just do? DOS and disk 2 wrapper. Okay, so let's go to wisdomtree.info. And we're going to look for what it wants to say about NDIS. So we could run NDIS in DOS, maybe. Possibly. Do I have to run MS client? Yeah, it's on physical hardware. It's on an EPC. I'll show in a minute, but uh, I'm just trying to figure this out. Packet drivers, ODI drivers. How do I add NDIS drivers? Can I? In DOS, real, use real mode driver NDS2. Look in the directory for NDS2. Um, let's see. Uh, this looks possibly like we could do it. Uh, cannot find a driver. Look at this site. And so that takes me back to make boot disk. Oh, this is a different website. Can I download drivers from here? It doesn't have the, the um, Atheros one though. More network drivers. Oh, is it here? Atheros. I can, I can control F, but that gives me anxiety knowing that I'm not going to actually find anything. All right, control F. Atheros. Nope, it's not there. So apparently the only way to get it out is out of this files.uha archive.
how do you open UHA files on Windows? Um, Windows UHA an archive. Let me in! Win UHA. Free software for DOS. Maybe I could just unzip it in DOS. Oh, this website hurts my eyes so much. Okay, Uhark. Uhark is becoming a power user's favorite. All right, so I download Uhark. Open FTP links. What? No, no, why? Please. Okay, maybe WinUHA exists. No. It's down. What about you you arc? No, it's a security risk. It's self-signed. If I accept that, will I get a virus? Open source as Windows binary. Is this blog spam? I don't know what this is. Uh, well, file compress surely can... Okay, file compress is gone. Okay, well, we might have to grab it from the Internet Archive. Um, I know this isn't HTTPS, but don't worry. Time for archive.org. Yeah. So if you use DOS or anything, you gotta, you gotta use archive.org sometimes. It's the only thing that keeps DOS alive. It's like a uh, hospital bed. Oh, it's redirecting me. So does that mean that's an actual website? Did they just redirect from the URL and then they were like, we're going to take the domain down? No, nope, their account's been suspended. I guess not. Well, there's a smiley face here. So let's try and download this. Let's download. <laughs> let's download it, please. Yes. I'm going to get so many freaking viruses from this. All right. Uh, let's see if opening it will dox me. Please no. Oh, that text is so small. All right. Let's install it. Yes, create all the icons, please. Launch it, please. Uh, I wish I could support you, buddy, but you're gone. I will donate as soon as possible. I wish. Let me donate. No, $7,000. I can't afford that. Uh, it doxed me. Hang on a second. I'm going to edit this stream so much. I hate it. Windows, why don't you just... Why don't you just not dox me? He needs credit card numbers. Okay. I'm going to have to quickly unzip this to my desktop. Um, and then load it up. And then copy that to the flash drive. He's in the hole deep. Okay, so I've got my UHA file. It's got a little smiley face on it because of the file association. This is an audio description. Oh, it's got all the packet drivers in it. Okay, so I'm just going to put these in the USB. Use a VPN. It's Windows. I have my real name on my Windows account because I'm using a Microsoft account because I can't get off the grid with Windows. It's not possible. I'll boot up the EPC, I guess, while we're doing this. Um, right click, P7-zip, extract here. Don't tell me P7-zip can extract these. No, it can't. Okay, open up with Win... 
That's a webcam. You thought it was my desktop background. That's like a weird background. Yeah, I just have a background of my uh, my death house. Um, I'll fix the exposure in a second. But I got to put these. Uh, I got to put these drivers here. Please, please. Why is your I/O so bad, Windows? Drivers. Save. And then I just drag them all the way down. This looks like it's really nicely set up. So we're just going to... I can't control C out of it, can I? I have to drag it. Resize the window. Drag, drag, drag. FreeDOS looking good. You got this? Oh, no. This doesn't support dragging. That's okay. I can go to new volume. Drivers. Using 23 megabytes for de decompression and one megabyte for file buffers. I have got this. I appreciate your support. Um, let me try and make... What pogs in chat? Oh, hi, cephalopod. Um, I wish this had a focus thing. But it, it doesn't let me focus it. I can only change the exposure, but that ruins the text. So I have like this. Just like ASMR, imagine you're like late night, you've been working on trying to get DOS to read network drivers all day. Um, you have toast and cold coffee. DOS party. I've actually been uh, working on and off on making a DOS Twitch button for the past three years. That's something that I'm going to get back to doing. Quick. This is more or less how it works when I don't wear my glasses. Let's call it immersion. Yeah. I really, I really feel bad, but I, I just don't think this webcam is meant to focus computer screens. I think it's meant for like people's eyes. Um, but every time I go to like change, I mess with the settings, it just gets worse. Like, look, am I double clicking the window capture? Okay, so if we go configure video, it's like, okay, so there's no focus on this. Um, oh, does that help? Just moving it back a little bit. Is that, I found the correct spot, I think, possibly. Okay, that looks so much better. But that looks horrible. So let's just turn the brightness up a tad. Does that help? No, that just adds the brightness. But then what if we put contrast? Oh, no, no. Uh, just put it default. Exposure auto. Does that actually look... I know you're saying go back slightly, but... But it's not happening. That's the exposure, so we need to put the exposure down to get the text legible. Um, but the only way to do that is to like put it down to here. So if I put the exposure down to that level, then I guess I could put the brightness up. I'm sorry, I'm trying. I'm trying so hard. It doesn't... There, is this okay? Does this work? Hang on. Let me just see it on the stream. Possibly. It doesn't look any different. It looks different on my computer, but not. Ah. Uh, okay. I'm just going to put this exposure back to where it was. It's good enough. No, I just changed it. Okay. Is this okay? No, that doesn't look okay. That looks horrible. You can accept this, yes? <laughs> Acceptance. All right. Legible. Let me just refresh my Twitch stream because that's the only way I'm seeing this. Oh, that looks so, ah. Oh. No, it's way, okay. Hang on, one minute. 
I've got this. I, I know what to do. I didn't change anything then. I don't think. What is the delay here? Okay, so this is negative six exposure. And then I could, I'll sit here with my toast and you just tell me, is this okay? Two back, three back. Okay, you want it brighter than that? Is that better? That's going more exposed. The text is going to bleed out though. Is this what you want? It's what you're getting. Okay. Three settings ago. I've been changing so many settings. Okay. I'll put it back to auto. See, that's what auto does. Do you want this? Is this what you want? Pathetic. Okay, ATL1E DOS. You need... <laughs> God, no! Okay, okay, okay. I will actually do my best. Put that there. That's readable. Then we put the contrast up. And the brightness up. Not up a bit. Sharpness up. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> no, I fucked up the game. What the heck? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what? I'm trying so hard. You don't understand. Okay. Okay. I had it. Is this it? Are you telling me this is it? Is this good? I await your correspondence to tell me if it's if it's good or not. Perfect. Are you ser Are you serious? What do you mean stop? I okay, hang on. Do you want it to be brighter or darker? Just tell me that, and I'll I'll work on it while I'm doing stuff. All right, we've copied the drivers. It's as good as I'm gonna get. Oh. We're just afraid you make it worse now. Okay, so can I run this file? AT dot DOS. No, I can't. God, no. No. Is this out of sync? All right, hang on, hang on. What if I, what if I set this to auto? What if I set this to auto and then I turn the lighting down on the laptop? Does that work? Is that the right way to do it? Oh, that might actually look worse. Oh no. I've made it worse. What if I move the screen closer? <laughs> How can it get worse? Don't do this to me. Okay, better. Better. That seems fine. This seems fine. I don't have a full screen preview. Maybe that's the reason it's not working too well. Okay, hang on a second. You're going to choke on your teeth. 
Hang on. I have an idea. Let me... I've got this. Don't worry. Ignore the floppy disks. Alright. Okay. Alright. Actually, you know what? I have, a, I have a better idea. Oh no, the laptop's turned off. Okay. Floppy disks. Ignore them. So, I'll set things to default. It's all on auto. This is all auto now. I'll put the brightness up. You 3D printed the save icon? My dad gave me the save icon. Okay. Is this good? What do you like about it? Give me the pros and cons of this. If you were to describe an improvement that you would like to be made with this setup, um, <laughs> pros of this setup, it's the default. Bad? Less exposure. All right, so the current exposure is at negative five. Oh no, I can't. I don't know how to use books. Okay, so this is negative five. I'll put it down to negative four. Cons, it's from hell. Okay. Negative five. This is negative five. Is negative five okay? Is it better or is it worse? We're going to do the doctor's glass. Worse? I didn't change any settings. It's the control value. I haven't changed anything. That's what it was before. You're in an eye exam? I'm getting trolled by chat so hard. We all just need glasses. Stream is good. You know what? This is probably what things were like back in the days. You know, glasses didn't exist. Okay, that looks readable. Kind of. So now we need to get the NDIS... Um... We need to somehow use the actual driver. Steam <laughs> is fine, though really it's not. I know it's not. Okay, I feel like if I change anything else, it's going to catch fire. It's so dark in the background. Then don't touch it. Ugh. I've never been so aggravated at myself. Alright, how do we set up the NDIS stuff? There's an NDIS DOS thing. Let's do that. NDIS. Excuse me. NDIS.DOS. Okay. How do I use the NDIS.DOS program? What do I do? Okay, hang on a second. Surely there's a bat file here that can explain to me cdrom.bat bethcab.bat startnet.bat Okay, let's try this. shndis.dos Yeah. Hey Voodoo Ray. Yeah, only com axiom banner executable. What the heck is this editor? Oh shit. It put me into Vim. 
or something. Go to abort. Yeah. How do I... What is this? Terse, the 496 bytes editor. All right. Jukes, no. <laughs> oh, no, I'm giving people seizures. I'm trying so hard. Lose changes, yes. C drive FDOS bin edit. Computers had a lot of seizures back then. Okay, so. What is net card? So. Net card zero equals NDIS. So we have to dev load it. That's right. I remember that. You have to load a device. So let's try doing dev load NDIS dot DOS. Okay, well that just, uh, that crashed. Okay. That's fine. Um, do I need... To I need to disable my memory manager shit. Um, what if I just load the Atheris thing? Capture card? I've ordered one. <gasps> it just did something. It says it's the driver, but it says module initialization failed. Risk <laughs> to abort women jealous. Why? Awful. Why are you in my chat? Why aren't you, like, in the bin? Okay. Let's read- let's read this, uh... Edit thing. Texas tries to ban the escape key. Yeah, it sounds like something Texas would do. Okay, I'm just- I don't want anyone to get mad, but I'm just gonna touch the exposure in order to make it less blue. Now, I know what you're thinking. This could be dangerous, but if I just move it from negative five down to three, oh, uh, uh, okay. NVN DIS two. All right, that's what it is. The world is ending. Everyone get cover. NVN DIS2. He PXE general failure. Is that good? NVIDIA DOS Ethernet driver? What? What? What is happening? What did I it seems to be Should I plug in my Ethernet? Would that help? Hang on. All right, so I didn't break DOS. Is this Ethernet cable going to reach? Uh oh. Okay, hang on. I need another Ethernet cable. I'll use my good one. Okay. Reboot or power off now. This makes me appreciate it even how easy we have it these days, even if it's going backwards. I mean, yeah, there's one thing I like about running Linux and maybe Windows 10 is that drivers are pretty good. Don't need to worry about that anymore. I'm not talking because there's food in my mouth and it's rude to talk when there's food in your mouth. Okay. Huh?
What am I eating? Um, and can you share? It's raisin toast. You can, you can have some if you want. I'd have to, like, ship it to you. And it would probably be, like, all moldy. In for a penny, in for a pound. It doesn't make any sense. You sure your nan wasn't, like, trolling you? Why am I eating raisin toast? Because I was hungry. I can't fax it. You can't fax physical objects. Okay. So there's... Alright. Uh, what is Ramdi? Net card. Go to Envy. So we have to... I don't know how to set my net card. If not net card zero equals equals zero, go to NV. If not, so that means if it doesn't equal that, yeah. Loading NVIDIA Intel support driver. So we're looking for bat files, but we don't have a bat file for our driver. There's no bat file. Okay, so what if we just load random stuff? NDIS.dos. Nope, that crashes. What if we load it again? That crashes. Okay. Is that, do I need to stop using the 386 memory, mon memory, mo memory, memory manager? Um, ND. NDIS help.sys unable to open protocol manager um, dev load at one le dot dos tl one e dot dos okay so one acronym for you DST what daylight savings time Yeah, if you start something, you got to finish it. Installing free host of faxy bread. I don't think my phone line can do fax. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'm missing something here. Probably something important, so I'm just going to quickly review some documentation that I have. Um, fax by VoIP, no getting out of it. Yeah, but that's only like 14.4k where I live. You only have to finish or continue it as long as it makes sense to do it, not just for the sake of continuation. Yeah, but if you don't finish it, then you can't, then, you know, that's another project failed in the bin. That's pathetic, isn't it? All right. Does this have a prot man? Whoops. This does have prop men. So let's see. So I'm reading the DOS TCP IP guide. So we have to copy prop man and then net bind and this packet and then ATL1E. Let's just copy that to C drive. And it's not that, it's copy. I, I like daylight savings time. I know I know it's a simp thing to say, but uh yeah, that's me. 
probably wondering how I got here. You might be pro DST. Wait, no, I mean daylight savings time. Yeah, that's what I said. Okay, so we have to edit protocol.ini. Um, why am I DST pro? What? I'm not any pro. Don't ever mistake me for a professional. Protocol.1. Is that an any file? Let's just edit that. Okay, that looks kind of like what I need, right? Yeah. I think. No. Please don't tell Santa. What is all this shit? I don't know. This web page telling me to set it up is way too much. I think it's an NDIS. Okay. I'm going to have to look through the code. Um, so let's, let's look through some of the code of that uh, boot disk and just see what it does. Because surely, surely it knows what to do. Okay, so I'm going to put this back on the screen. And let's have a look. We have make disk.bat. What does that do? Oh. I mean, we could... I guess we could put FreeDOS on a USB. We do have FreeDOS on a USB. That's right. I can do this. Wait, no, it might think it's like a, uh, I don't know. Please go in USB. Cat girl DST? Oh, well, thanks for doxing me again, you piece of shit operating system. I'm going to put you in the trash. Enter the disk drive letter. Well, uh, one second. Why did I, why did I choose to do it this way? It's D drive. Okay, so we're going to do D drive. It's USB. Yep. I don't know what it just did, if anything. It says net. It says it's created. Uh, okay. The desktop background is back. Yes. Okay, I'm actually going to run Rufus and create a FreeDOS boot disk and then install NetBoot on it. And then we're going to see what happens. FreeDOS, please, on NetBoot disk. Make me a FreeDOS USB. Look, it's real. I've got a hand here and dim lighting. Did my hand just move on stream or not? Yeah. Would you crunch the floppy disks? Maybe. I don't know if they work. Hand cam, please. I don't know if hand fetish is a real thing, but I don't want to find out. Okay, we're going to extract this to... Smart new folder. Usually hand cam is Patreon exclusive. What? I could sell it? Okay. So what drive? D. USB. All right. I think this might have actually worked. Let's see if this random thing I found on the internet can, can, can work. 
only hands exists, you're certain of it? Probably. Close to only hands? No. Please shut down. Please shut down. Okay. So we're going to start up and we're going to try and boot this disk. It's my finger there. I'm, just, I'm not gripping anything. Okay. We're going to put that down. Save. And let's see if this boot disk will actually give me networking. Bad or missing command interpreter and command line E. So this is the N drive, is it? Hmm. Am I sure it's N drive? I think it's C drive. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, please. Why is my toast so big? It's raisin toast. What don't you understand? A good pro tip is like, when I got this out of the bag, I left the bag open and two pieces dropped on the floor. So I put them in the toaster real quick to sterilize them using the heat. There. You want this toast? Max is that thick toast. All right, N drive F DOS. Oh, it's not, it's not doing this. What do you mean WTF? We might have to single step this because obviously it's not written for free DOS. Yeah. It says files equals 40. Yes or no? Yes. Break off. Yes. Buffers. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Yes. Let's run auto exec. Echo off. Um, so it wants to be on the end drive. It really wants to be on the end drive. Um, let's escape from this. All right, let's just have a look. Let's edit auto exec. Okay, we can't edit. All right, so it does a lot of stuff. Why does it want to do this? It looks like it's doing junk. You know what? I actually have the auto run file. Let's manually run the auto run file. The auto exit. Preview with notepad. It's setting the RAM disk to N. I don't want that. Okay, so netboot get drive. I don't know why it thinks says netboot. Okay, so we're going to run netboot get drive to uh, C drive A dot bat. Okay. Call, wait, no, we need to set RAMD equals C. And then I guess we do um, call C drive, call A dot bad, please. Okay. Um, what does it do next? It copies files. It copies the files and the script. So let's see, copy 
files. This is running in RAM, right? What is this for? Well, I want to run a DOS bot on it, um, a IRC bot that I'm making. Um, I thought instead of using a virtual machine, why don't I just have a quick install stream? C drive Unu hard C. What? Okay, what does what does script.bat say? I'm now digging through like the actual computer code as well as this. Okay, preview with notepad. Alright, copying extra files. Then it decompresses it using Unu hard CD. And then it runs script two. And script two, I imagine, is on the actual DOS drive, so we don't need this. Do it the most complicated way possible. Yeah. Why would it not be that way? Coffee is cold. All right, so let I've got to put the drive in. Nudist dust land party. What? Okay. So then it would run script two dot bat. So it would run a PCI scan, then put that in ndis.map. So let's put that in C drive ndis.map. Why? Why can't you why can't you open that in read mode? We'll put that in D drive ndis.map. Can't open it in read mode. Ndis.map. Found Atheris. Okay, so now if we look at ndis.map. It just... It did something. Look, I've actually got a mouse in this. This is like, bizarre. So it maps the ndis. So if we do control F, will it like... Do the AT L one no, AT L. Oh, I have to use delete because you can't backspace past stuff. Okay, let's just read what the script does. If not PCI zero equals zero, go to detected. So that sets P that sets print PCI. Uh. What? I don't know. Install Catgirl OS VBV. What's your favorite chili? I don't have a favorite chili. Okay, so let's say it detected it. Now we run show menu. All right. That didn't work, and it ruined my shell. Okay, that's fine, but we're getting there. Set environmental variables. Let's just ignore the menu junk, huh? If net card, so. Uh, okay, so it builds. All right. So I'm not sure what the menu did. So it sets temp menu pref, does some weird stuff to the console, saves it to the floppy disk. 
So then it has stuff for the net card here. And then it builds the protocol here. Ah, so it takes protocol.1 and then concatenates it with the net card dot any. And then proto add and then protocol dot two. Okay, seems reasonable. Someone remember that for me. Um, clear. 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 Okay. So we do... We don't have cat. I've, I've already remembered. I've already forgotten what it is. Please don't make fun of me. Okay, type. Yes, that's what we use in DOS. So type protocol dot one to C drive protocol dot any. Then we do the AT L one E dot any C drive protocol dot any. Then we do the type protocol. It's proto add. It's not here. I forgot the thing instead of writing it down. Listen, listen, I'll come over there. Proto add dot text. Where is proto add coming from? You know what? Let's just ignore that for now. Um, then we do protocol two. Protocol dot two. Then let's look at what's in C drive protocol. And that looks like it might actually work. Hey, syrup. Yes, I'll no, no, not that way. I will, I will visit you. Bring bread. It's toast, not bread. And then it runs startnet. Okay. And then it runs IP config. So I just want to get it to start the net. So what does it do in startnet? Net initialize. The, far, the path was not found. Are you is hot enough that all bread is toast? I don't think that's how it works. Why do you have to use the word copy instead of CP? I mean, I guess it's just easier to remember. Are you going to hang while copying? Yes, override it, please. Specified path was not found. Urgh. Netcard.bat. So there's no script for us. Is it the, it's not. I don't think it's the NDIS thing. I don't think we have to touch that, but this, this code is not really documented very well. And it's based on old knowledge that's forever gone. Wait, we can tell what netcard is. Echo netcard. 
No, we can't. Do we have to specify a net card? Where is net card first found? Is it done using the menu preference? PCI scan V. Um, you cannot use that on toast, I'm sorry. All right, so we're not getting anywhere really with this, I don't think. I'm just gonna look at the script again, but we may have to look at another website. I'm getting a better idea, but I think... I think... Uh... See, I need to be doing startnet.bat. But if I just run that, it's going to error because it's a coward. Um, we could try loading NVIDIA NDIS, but I don't think that's what we need. I think we just need to do net initialize. The specified path was not found. What path? Dynamic? All right, time to look at Firefox a little bit. Okay, so there was that guide. So we actually do have the protocol thing here. So what do you do once you have the protocol? How do I load this? Do I have to run netbind? Netbind. Unable to open propman. Do I have to run propman? Protocol manager not found. Do I need to load propman first? <clears throat> protocol any open failure. I've got a protocol any. Don't do this to me. All right, I'm getting a little angry. Don't say that about Marmite. That's horrible. Protocol any file open failure. All right, so. There's a lot of junk there. You know what? We're going to delete this one. Um, can I unload? Um, let's delete this one. Or let's run Propman and just see how it goes. All right. Delete protocol or any. And we're going to follow a guide on the internet. And I'm just going to copy stuff in. Protocol.ini. Um, we're going to type in Propman. Driver name equals trot man. Wait, do I have to do? Okay, commands and FD config load protocol manager, protman.dos, Mac driver, and protocol driver. So I load. The protocol manager and then front man and the Mac stuff. Okay, so let's I'm trying to follow this. Okay. I can do this. I'm not a professional, don't put me in the trash. EL driver name. Okay, so now I need to remember what the driver name is. Uh, and that would be ATL1E. ATL1E. 
driver name equals ATL1E. And then we do packet drive. Driver name equals packet drive with, oh, I have to put dollar signs at the end of each of these. He gave someone trauma and now someone's too, now someone's like never expecting stuff. What are you doing, Kaz? Start, you're ruining my chat. You always do this and I love you for it. Okay. Int vec, chain vec. All right. Okay, so let's save this. Last stream you copy pasted a bunch of C++ code thinking it was C and it was well embarrassing. That's fine. Okay, dev load prot man dot dos. Any open failure. Don't say that. <gasps> I did it. All right, now let's load the asterisk driver. It didn't work. No module found. So it might be that Protman isn't working. What about if I just run Protman? Did I forget to run it? Netbind? Uh, I'm getting closer. You got, you got to witness someone drinking a bottle, not quite a jug of stale mixed bodily fluids. Um, I want to ask how you got into that situation, but I also don't want to ask how you got into that situation. I'm sorry, I read it. I'm not making a semen bottle and shipping it to you. All right, load high, protman, dot, dos, not to you or anyone. C drive. You just, you just end up in weird places by association. That's fine. Load. Dev load high. Is that a, is that what I do? Dev load. Um, let's just try doing propman.dos. I C drive. That loaded it. And then we do load. Dev load a. Tl .dos. Wait, do I need to add the, the any file to, no, um, module initialization failed, one character device installed, no module found. Have I mistyped anything? It's ATL1E, yes, ATL1E, ATL, ATL1E. ATL one E bindings equals ATL one E Yes, save it and let's try loading it. Um I feel like we're getting close. Okay.
Trauma is death bad. Yeah, oversharing is death bad. Why do you say no module found? Give me your secrets. Uh, I know, I know that I actually ran something and it helped get past this. Maybe I should, maybe I should load it. Just as a cheat. General failure. That didn't work. What about ndis.dos? Uh oh. Okay. So that doesn't work at all. That uh, corrupts my, corrupts my junk. So, we're going to have to do it a different way, where we try and track down this driver, um, and find it, I guess, ATL1E DOS. I might have to Google this, but Google's a bit of a risky click. L1E dot DOS. Oh, we have, we have something here from 2014. It looks like someone was trying to load drivers. They're using the asterisk drivers. System any. This packet is, is missing. Okay, what? Let's go, let's go to the thread. I mean, I don't know, SourceForge is so awful. Okay. So. For the protocol.ini, you use that. Bindings equals neck, okay. So you don't use So you don't use dev load, is that what it is? Get the latest updates about open source projects, conferences, and news? No. Alright, so is it possible that the issue here is that I'm using dev load instead. Or is it system.ini? I don't know what system.ini is. You have to load all three and then Okay, well, let's try and do this. Maybe SourceForge will help me. Good force of the screen. Yeah, I mean, everyone has HD retina screens. Um, let's run it um, with some drivers, with single stepping. Yep, we'll load that. Yep, yep, yep. Um, Let's not bother. We should load FD auto, shouldn't we? Echo off, yep. Set DOS, dear, set lang. Time zone, path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This all looks fine. It's way too much. 
Oh my god, okay. So we're going to edit config.sys. Edit fdconfig. Now we're going to find... We're going to find... We're going to find it. We're going to find it. Does that make sense? I think it goes in fdconfig.sys. Is that where it goes? Yeah, all right. So, device equals C drive, frotman.dos, I C drive. What's wrong? Did I say something weird? Track him down and find it. Alright, um, C drive ATL1E dot DOS and device equals C drive <laughs> this packet dot DOS. Struth, mate. I tell you. You never unfollowed Hasten ABI and so you get trash from him now? Well, I tell you, mate. <gasps> what just happened? I was looking at the screen at the stream to kind of to catch what happened. But I didn't I don't know what happened. How do you go up? Oh. Okay, we're booting with F8. It looks like it might have actually done the driver. Come on. Come on. Come on. Alright, we'll load with Jamex. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. <gasps> it found the link. It says checking link status, link speed at 100 megabits. DOS packet driver, lo converted loader. Oh my God. Oh my God. Could it be? All right, so now, now can we possibly ping, ping the internet? I did the thing. Um, no way. I need to go back to M. Please let me go back. I don't know if I did it. Did I not? Extract MTCP in oh, okay. I unzip MTCP D MTCP. Is it possible? Achievement guess did the thing. I don't know if I did the thing, it might be a long road. Okay, CD MTCP. Let's do htget.exe jukia.org. Oh, I didn't set the DNS. This equals g drive mtcp.config. Do we actually have DHCP on this? I need to set an mtcp.config. Does this have a sample one? I forget what the MTCP configures. How do I create? How do I create? How do I create? Oh, it's got samples. Okay, copy. Copy samples. Sample.config. C drive. MTCP.config. 
edit C drive and PCP dot config. We got the packet int. Yeah. Um, that's all fine. Let's try it. Could not set up packet driver. Now that's fair because we haven't installed the TCP IP stack. So far, we're only just going to be able to get IPX out of this. And I don't know about you, but no one runs IPX in this kind of network. Okay, let's just delete all this. Or not. I'll just leave it there. Alright, so. How do I load the TCP IP stack? Um, TCP TSR. That should be in the drivers. Yeah, I'm just getting progressively more Australian. TCP TSR.exe. NM.dos. All right. Um, let's go check out the script too. And see how they handled this. Okay, it seems like there's a system in it. And they use that for the TCP IP. Um, Mac. Finding MAC address. Can we find the MAC address? It couldn't find my MAC address. Not great. Okay, so let's look at Startnet. So we started... Okay, let's do net initialize. Okay, so that just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. What about netbind? Alright, what about... TCP SR? Error accessing nem.dos. I need to load shit. TCP driver dos. Ah, oh, struth. I think we're gonna have to bring the TCP driver back to the C drive. Uh, add it to our devices. I'm not sure. Uh, uh, because it seems like it would work fine here. Let me just look at the page that I'm looking at. Let me just bring it up on screen. I'll show you what I'm actually reading. Um, it's this. So I've, I've done... Am I supposed to run netbind? Okay, I'm supposed to run netbind. I'll just copy that to C drive. I've already got it in C drive. Okay, um, edit C drive, autoexec.bat. Gonna use the bathroom, be right back. Have a good bathroom. Um, it is important. I will grant you a bathroom pass. Alright, I didn't expect this stream to be so long. I thought this was going to... Why did I think anything was going to be quick? You ever got a piss on stream? Yeah, but I use a cup, I just, like, I use a, uh... No, I don't. I retract my statement. Okay. And <laughs> now we're over to... Ec into ExoCheck with the bathroom news. Can you tell us what's been going on over there? Sounds like a big deal. And just like cut to that scene from Daddy Daycare where he just looks up and the bathroom's just destroyed. All right. Um, I, I think what TCP should be working maybe. 
MTCP. <gasps> it's trying to do... <gasps> it got an IP! Oh my god! Guys! Check this out. Struth, it just got an IP address. Um, if we just copy DHCP to the C drive, and then we edit C drive FD auto, we can just dump, I think it was because I didn't run NetBind. Um, so let's run DHCP at startup, and uh, let's do a reboot, huh? Big O O indeed. Um, yep, 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 yep. It's even running in in uh, three eighty six mode. That's some pretty sick shit. Oh, I didn't set the variable. Hang on. Edit uh, FD auto. Um, set MTCP and config with C drive MTCP dot config. Will this work? Oh, we've got the IP. Now, can we finally do D drive MTCP HT get HTTP dot org? Oh, moved permanently. Um, FDN package install links. Oh, I need what TCP dot config. I haven't installed the what TCP configuration thing. And now it's trying to configure through boot P. Configuring through DHCP. Yep. So now we are installing something over the internet from DOS on actual hardware. Look at that blazing fast speed. At least 20 kilobytes a second. <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, yep, so we'll come back to this in an hour and hopefully we'll, no, absolutely not. Um, can we install links though? Is that smaller? See, DOS is just slow unless you use like um, FTP. Like HTTP seems to have some really big um, overload. So if we go, if we edit um, MTCP config. Um, yep, 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 that's fine. So let's just shut down. Good night, Jukes. There's no rest for the wicked. We'll remove the USB drive. See here, this one's a tricky one. And then we'll just boot it up. And uh, hopefully we can connect to the internet with just the stuff in DOS. Let's shake it up by removing the Ethernet connection. You did most of the work. Um, no, I didn't. So, no. So, is this hot pluggable? <laughs> I'm asking if it's hot pluggable. No, I'll just plug it in. There. There we go. And do I have... Yep, so we have ping, let's ping jukia.org. There we go. Yep. Um, so this does not have IP version 6, unfortunately. Um, did I need TCP driver? I don't think so. 
um, propman.dos, propman.exe. Um, yeah, so there's a bit of cleanup that I have to do. But basically how it seems to be working is that it's using an NDIS driver then bridging that to traditional DOS packet drivers, which is what our bot uses or will use. And so hopefully one day we'll have a bot just sitting on this little machine running off in another room. Running in another room. Do you think FreeDOS will ever support IP version 6? I don't think so, no. Um, FreeDOS is just legacy, legacy stuff. Um, but yeah, that's it. There's some junk under the keyboard. Let's just get that with a knife. It looks like cat hair or something. Ah, uh, that's not going to get out. Unless I use a different knife. Would I work on it? Heck, N to the double O. IP version 6 doesn't exist. It's a myth. My whole network runs with IP version 6, though. Like, I have IP version 6. Native IP version 6. In my house. I break my keyboard fishing for cat hair. Yeah, it sounds like something that could happen. Um, my only rug rat I have so far is that this, uh... This USB to floppy drive thing isn't working. Um, maybe we would take a quick look at it. You know, does it have screws under it, under these little metal grips? Are there screws? No. Um, no screws means I'm not going to get in. Unless... I'm just curious. Like, I'm pretty sure the floppy is okay. My giraffe mug? That's a cow mug. That coffee is really cold. Okay. Where'd I get it? I don't know. It's like a household thing. You can probably get one if you want. What type of coffee do you drink, syrup? This is a lot of noises. A lot of noises. Hmm. Why is that not opening? Let me in! That's back on something I imagine. I just drink instant coffee, you know, the trash kind. Oh, it's that stupid thing at the top. How are we going to deal with that? I don't know. It's the, but it's the thing you push in for the floppy. See here? Oh, that's poking out. I guess we'd have to push it back. Can't coffee beans, like, only grow in certain parts of the world?
Let me in. Oh. Should I be wearing glasses for this? Like safety glasses? That could have hit my eye, probably. Right, hang on. I think this is getting close to coming out. Just a little further. Why did they make nothing to be disassembled? Okay, here we go. Oh no! I have made a mistake. Why would they do that? There is a screw. I think. Hang on. Why did I not check under the friggin' warranty sticker? It's off center. Uh, all right. Nice big off center warranty screw. All right, so. This is the floppy drive, and as you can see, it has a nice connected to a USB controller. Um, it has a bunch of teeny tiny screws, so let's let's get in there, I guess. Um. I have a feeling I'm not supposed to take these off, but you know, you never know. Um, right now, I think this drive just doesn't work. Based on the assumption that, um, that all the floppies are okay, or at least one of them is okay. Who knows, it could just be that I have trash floppies. But I get the feeling that this just isn't able to read them for some reason. I have to say though, it is nice that they made the USB cable a plug. Um, that's something you only get on premium $20 membrane keyboards. and some mechanical keyboards. Oh, please don't, don't strip this screw. All right, there we go. Maybe if I point the camera down, it could help, right? Let's pull this USB connector out or not. Just put it somewhere else, I suppose. So we've got the screws off. Let's take the top off this, this, this. You script a screw on your PS Vita once? Yeah, stripping screws is not a good time. There's a video of me like, not a video, there's a re audio recording of me somewhere I think maybe on PeerTube or something. I'm not sure where. Um, I might have to re-upload it sometime, but it's just me talking while I'm constantly drilling to get a screw stri a strip screw out of something for about um, 40 minutes. Okay, so I don't know anything about floppy disks. But whatever, let's plug it in. So we put floppy disk in. Uh, what's one that has something on it for sure? Forty minute juke screw ASMR. 
Yeah, thanks for adding ASMR to that. So, floppy go in. And then it opens it to have the little magnetic um, thing exposed to there. Now let's plug it in and see if it's going to detect it. Well, hang on. It spun a bit. Are you sure? Because I'm starting to think I, 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 why did I, <laughs> I was thinking of like, okay, I'm going to say I busted this. What's a better word than busted? Nutted. And then I'm like, I nutted this? Yeah, so let's, it, it powers on. And then on Windows and Linux, it just says, please insert a floppy disk into drive A. Don't nut in your electronics. Oh. Um. It's got a game called Space Invaders on it. It did do a move thingy. So the logical next step was to plug it into DOS machine and see what happens. And also probably put top of case on it. Yeah. Like Contaminate floppy may be bad. All right, so let's, I'll try and get both of these in the shot. It's a bit hard. Okay, so we have this here and we have this. So let's see if FreeDOS recognizes the floppy drive. trying to boot from it. I have a ThinkPad. Yeah, I have many ThinkPads. I did an entire stream about fixing this ThinkPad. I have probably one of the coolest laptops ever, but it's under my bed. Okay, let's do boot settings, configure it. Whoops. ThinkPads are like, it's a nerd meme. But as you see, I had to Do you hear that? Do you hear that noise? Is the webcam picking up that noise? It's not a meme, it's a staple, mom. Syrup swoons for ThinkPads. All right, so is this gonna show up in FreeDOS? Let's see, D drive, A drive. So we, uh, I don't think we have sound in this. That's pretty cool, right? So the next logical question is, 
Am I going to put my bot on a floppy disk? Okay, let me quit, please. Let me out! See ya, Soph. Thanks for coming by. It means a lot to me. I have to press escape on the other keyboard. It's not plugged in. Yeah, like, theoretically, I could boot it on a floppy, couldn't I? Do I want to boot it on a floppy? Maybe not. Paul S. Reed. Thank you, Paul. What happened? Oh, yeah, the creator, I guess. But yes, it's actually very interesting that this does genuinely recognize it as a floppy. I'm not sure if FreeDOS is doing the USB stuff or if it's my BIOS pretending that it's an A drive. Paul Reed has a website. Hang on. Let's just check. We'll shout him out at the end of the stream, which should be now. Paul S. Reed, 1995. The game and source code are freely redistributable. So, I'm going to shut this down now and we'll turn off the camera. And at the end of it, I'm just going to point out my references for this stream. Um, yeah, what's up, Kaz? You can't find Mug? Um, I. It says made in China. Does that help? Paul S. Reed Invaders. Um, it might be a different Paul on that. Yeah, I'm just looking at this. Um, Paul S. Reed. Windows 10 compatible. So that's been repackaged into a Windows 10 installer. Donations in Dogecoin. Uh, one thing about archive.org actually, is if we search up Paul S. Reed Space Invaders. Yes, we did win. We got networking running and we even got our USB floppy drive working somehow. Uh, sometimes just taking apart stuff fixes it. It's amazing. Mega dance hits, 1990 to 2001. Yes, please. Um, so let's just quickly go through what I had to do for this, just for the record. Um, so let's find this. Which website was it? There was the, um, netbootdisk.com gave you, gives you a zip drive or whatever with all the drivers you'll ever need, apparently. Um, pretty freaking amazing. You helped. All of you helped. Um, yeah, what's up, Kaz? Moral support. Um, and so then I had to use WinUHA. Um, I don't know. Uh, uh, you can just search that up. You might have been rooting for DOS. You, you wanted it to win over me. Um, and then I, uh, I read this page. I was just going off it. Um, Wisdom Trees DOS TCP IP um, stuff. Um, and so I was looking at the section of using, to be specific, the NDIS drivers. Um, mainly this section here where it tells you what stuff to load and also the files. And that worked fine. And for the USB stuff, I'm not sure. It all worked out. And we've got, oh, you got me getting doxxed again. Why, why do I fall for that? I don't understand. It's going to be a shame because I'm not going to have to drop this damn VOD. I don't like doing that, but you made me do this, Windows. Probably be on uh, PeerTube anyway in like a few days, so don't worry. Um, anything else to talk about? I guess I'll just screw this back together and we'll check that it works. When it's in its little plastic container. Um, 
So I am surprised that this worked and that it was the fault of... I don't know what was up with it. That looks fine. All right, I've got to put the little screws in. Chaotic neutral, that's fine. I'm that. Everyone in chat is generally chaotic neutral. Now, we have about six extremely, 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 extremely tiny screws. So, is it, and I have a carpet floor, so is it possible for me to screw this back together? Don't lose them. Don't worry. You only need like half the screws max in anything, don't you? Unless they're load-bearing screws. You can't watch? It's fine. Chill out. Put it someplace safe. I've got it on top of a laptop and I've got the screws all in a pile over here. See? That's the little dots there. And you just pick them up. And you tilt the screwdriver. And you put them in. And then you screw it. And then you listen to the crunch. Oops. Yes. It's so stressful. It's, well, <laughs> floppy drive almost slipped off the laptop. It's such a glossy thing. Um, yeah, so this stream was a lot just to test if I could stream from my laptop. Because then hopefully I can, uh, hopefully I can um, do some streaming of soldering and stuff. Because I have a keyboard I need to finish up. Not that I uh, build keyboards, but... I have, a, I have something weird going on, and I would like to complete it on stream. <laughs> Almost lost it. It just slipped right off, but it was still on the screwdriver. Hi. <laughs> okay, so screw that in. Soldering's okay. Also, thanks for coming by, Exogic. Where do I screw that one in? I guess I screw it into there. Then solder joints. Yeah, it's actually a really weird thing that I'm soldering. So like, you have to see it. I don't think I've aligned this properly. Oh dear. All right, so we're just gonna loosen them all. Just enough to uh, move this back a bit. Low energy text streams, you're a huge fan. Yeah, do you do any type of stuff like that? Do you want a shout out? I don't have a bot to give you a shout out, but I can like literally shout you out. High energy. Yes. Of course. Why is this not aligning properly? Hmm. Looks like I'm going to have to take off all these small screws again. You want to see how fast I can do it? Hang on. Let's, let's do this fast. I don't want to waste anyone's time. Alright, one... bad floppy disk drive. Well, I don't think it was meant to be taken apart with. Why are you worried? Just chill. You gotta chill out. It's like when you try and you spend like 30 minutes on your stream trying to set the camera exposure only have chat to say anything you do will make it worse. And knowing that deep down it's true. Put them safe. Yeah, they're on my desk. They're safe. They're not going to go anywhere. Okay. 
I think this needs to clip on somewhere. Should I like clean anything in there? Should I take the floppy disk out first? Maybe. I don't know if that's important to do. Sometimes I forget to turn stuff off when I'm working on it. Okay, everyone does that. Especially with these like silent computers, you never know. All right. What if I put all the screw, all these tiny small screws in this, in their little like slots first before screwing them in? Let's try that. So one goes there, one goes there, one goes there. Oh, the frame's a bit off. And one goes there. Oops, dropped that one. Where'd you go? Okay, yeah. You can't find the real Paul Reed anywhere? Shout out to Paul Reed. Um, Actually, there would probably be a doc file giving um, stuff. Couldn't clip what fast enough. Yeah, my hand's getting in the way of this. He's too cool to be invisible. I mean, it says that the game and its source code are freely distributable, but that's from like 1995 for DOS stuff, and I don't know if home computing was really up to task with the free software um, movement at the time. I was mostly focused on Unix stuff, wasn't it? Ah, oh, this one's not going in. Oh, in you go. There we go. Oops. Yep. Okay, so we screw this on. And then we've got the last one down here. And then we've got the plastic screws. It's actually starting to get light outside, so that's that's how you know the stream's about to end, because it's, it's getting to be morning. How long has this been going? Two hours, 30 minutes? That's not bad timing for this. I mean, like, I knew... I honestly didn't think I'd be getting networking set up. Um, mostly because I just like, I thought that it would just be Intel packet drivers, but I guess um, it wasn't that. And that's fine. For anyone interested, this is like quick. Yeah. <laughs> I just like saying something's gonna be quick um, it's kind of a meme, to me at least. Quick everyone, let's go for a quick eight hour stream. Speedy, speedy sleepy jukes. Okay, does that actually put the floppy drive in? Have I ruined, oh, oh it doesn't like that. Do I have to censor that on Twitch? That's definitely where the LED goes. Um, for anyone interested in this actual model, I clickbaited you. <laughs> guess, uh, guess that screw wasn't in all the way. That's okay. It's a long screw. You only have to censor it, the floppy drive is female presenting. No regrets. I didn't actually, I should probably clarify, like, if I'm actually going to say something that's quick or not. But, uh, yeah, I like the idea of saying something's going to be quick because you know it's going to go, like, completely off the rails. At least for me. Or doing any kind of quick, complex task. You're like, uh-oh. -er. Okay, so apparently the fix for this was simply to open it up and, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe opening it up did nothing. 
Having a three and a half inch floppy on screen should be censored too. I don't have any three and a half inch floppies. I have, or at least I had a zip disk. Spot of Jukes jokes. To be honest, like one of my favorite things about semi-recent computing is just USB. Like I don't need to have actual drives in my computer now. I can have a floppy drive. I can have a flash drive. I can have an external hard drive. I can have um, CD drives and all that just external. And it plugs in by a single wire. I have a I have a three and a half inch floppy. Ooh, don't like that sound. Oh, did I break at the side? Because those clips aren't really clipping. Ooh, it's not looking good. These are one and a half inch. Um... No, not three. No, I mean, that's not one and a half inch. These might be three and a half inch. Did I do this wrong? Have I ruined this drive? Hang on. I don't know jack about floppies. I enjoy... Everything has to be hard for me. Oh no, I've ruined this drive. It's not going in. What do you mean, what? Like, I don't think I've actually ruined it, so you don't, don't worry too much. But, hopefully, I will not struggle with this task of putting plastic together. No bottom flop now? No, no, it's going to happen. So, oh no, the, uh, uh oh, the plastic floppy shutter has just like fallen inside. That's not supposed to happen, is it? Ooh, what was that? A piece of plastic fell off it. Um, that's fine. You probably don't need that anyway, do you? Like, that should go in, right? Yeah, you don't need the little, little lid thing. Little door. What's that noise? Shake it up and win a prize. It just needs a reed head. Everything else is for looks. Bunch of springs came out of my floppy drive cartoon style. It still turns on, but I don't know if it works because I don't have floppies. Oh, that sound. It's not a sound that inspires hope. Let's just plug this in to see if it still works. Like a pro tip if you're repairing stuff, plug it in to make sure it works. Yeah, that sounds like it. Uh, uh oh. Uh, that seems like it works. I'm not sure. Oh shit. It's saying it's not formatted. And it's reading a lot. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh F. Oh no. I flew too close to the sun. Okay, now it works. I just needed to reinsert it. Sometimes floppies are like that. <laughs> just getting extremely dramatic and panicked for no reason. Yeah, what's up, Kaz? Um, so which side did this go in?
I swear, most of my memes come from that uh, Rick and Morty Bushworld Adventures thing. If you haven't seen it, you should see it. It's, uh, it is one of the great YouTubes. Of all the YouTubes there are, that video is great. And hits my humor. Bushworld Adventures was cute. It was cute, but it's my favorite, like, Rick, because it's just so extremely over the top. You're such a great YouTube. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I don't post on YouTube anymore. Maybe I should. I don't know, should I put my streams on the YouTubes? I'd get views, probably, but I don't want views. You know what, while we're at this, let's have a look at some of the chips in here. I just want to see if there's any, like, microcontrollers. That looks like a big boy. Jupiter 2. IC8565. What's that? Jupiter 2 IC6585. Jupiter 2 IC. Huh. I don't see anything about that online. But it's got a lot of pins. Used to post on YouTube. You got 50 subs and it was like nice, but it was under my dead name, like, yeah, no. Yeah, it's kind of a piece of shit that you, like, well, I mean, I'm not sure if you were, like, forced to use your dead name. Google really likes people using their real names, which sucks. I mean, it's kind of, I don't want to get too political, but it's, like, it's a bit weird watching, um, videos that, like, dead name people just because at the time they weren't out. That's, like, kind of weird. And, like, I can kind of get it. But it's weird. Like, H-Bomber guy casually showing Philosophy Tube on his channel under uh, the male identity. And it's like, well, yeah, but also... I don't know. Um, I don't know how it is in other cultures, but at least in indigenous Australian cultures, um, they put warnings on TV and media if there is a person that's been deceased, an indigenous person. Um, so maybe we should have that kind of thing. Just because, like, uh, it's taboo, or at least that's my white person way of saying, um... Not exactly taboo, but um, part of the grieving process is just not saying the person's name. Let me fix the exposure while I'm at it, huh? Does that help a little bit? Um, so yeah, I mean, one thing that annoys me about YouTube is that you can't, like, edit videos you've uploaded. Why does it want me to keep going back to the camera properties? Go away. I mean, companies can... ...fix, uh, can edit videos they've uploaded, but regular people can't, and I'm not too sure why that is. Like, it would just be cool to... I don't know. All right, so floppy drive is in here. Seem to work. Um, have some parts left over, but that's typical of any kind of repair. Let's plug it into the EPS and see if it work for real, not for play. I don't know if I'm going to try and fix up the exposure of the VOD when I upload it. But I'm not sure if it's just my eyes, because it looks so bright in, like, the preview on OBS. So I'm not too sure. So, we have this. Oh, I have to... I think it's set not to boot from floppy. What if I eject the floppy? Yeah. I'm not on Twitter, I'm on Mastodon. Um, you can find all my details at jukia.org. Alright. 
So I've got my my A drive here. So if we do A drive, and then we do edit innovators dot doc. Yeah, free software, social media. I'm one of those free software people. All right, so from the floppy disk, we have the big... Now I'm impressed, followed for real now. Yes. Um, most of my non-stream work just goes into, like, trying to fix accessibility and stuff. I get... If, if you follow my... Um, if you follow my Mastodon, you're probably just going to see me ranting a lot about either people not caring about accessibility and support through assistive technologies or lately keyboards and stuff. So, so let's see. This is Space Invaders, Paul S. Reads. Game source code and documentation are freely distributable. No charges to be made for this game source code and not documentation without the author's permission. A small fee to cover the cost of distribution is access acceptable. That's interesting to see. Like, you don't see that in Creative Commons licenses, I don't think. Which is something that kind of worries me a bit. The source code is included. Like, give me credit. Leave me some email. So does this have email? P-R-E-I-D at direct.ca. And then it has very various different references, um, including DOS programmers reference, Dan Gukin's guide to underground DOS 6.0, programmers guide to EGA, VGA, and Super VGA cards, uh, various development stuff. Um, and let's see, do you have the source code on this? Not too sure. We have a file ID dis file. So that's probably what you would expect if the game... Oh no. Um, so this was probably copied from some kind of shovelware um, CD. Space Invaders 95. Paul S. Reed. So Paul, if you're out there, sick job on the game. Um, especially because like it's from 1995 and it doesn't rely on CPU speed. Like, this thing is running fine, and it's not, like, just blazing fast because I'm on, like, a Pentium or whatever. Although I suppose at the time, different DOS speeds were um, an issue anyway. Does this have a scores? Let me plug a keyboard in. Uh, I'm not going to. It's not tied to clock. It's time. It's type of. It's kind of impressive. It's like yeah. Um, so this is actually like as you would have guessed. This isn't a DOS machine by the fact it has like Ethernet and USB and stuff. This is actually a Celeron. I think dual core something something. Um, from two thousand and six. So it is surprising to like see that this is able to handle the clocking. I don't know, though, 1995. Um, when was the 386 put out? Um, 386 was put out in... 85. And I think uh, the 90s was where the Pentiums were and all that. Yep, this is an EPC. Um, stretch. Yeah, I'll stretch a bit. So that's everything for this stream. Um, I thank everyone. Uh, thanks for coming. Thanks my dad for giving me all these floppies. You get so many compliments on your EPC 900. Yeah, this is a, uh, a thousand HA. One interesting thing about EPCs as they came out at the time is that they used, uh, some of them had um, SSDs in them, which was like fascinating to me. No problem. See you around. I guess I'm going to close the stream now so I can clean up and probably go for a walk. See you later, everyone.